First things first, let's look at the lead hand. Left hand for me being a right-handed player. Now, if we look just at the left hand when we try to make a golf swing, and we don't make any swing for this example, okay? I'm not going to really move my body in a golf swing type fashion. I'm going to isolate just my lead hand. So if I put the club on the floor and I make a backswing just with my hand, wrist and forearm, then that's pretty much as far as I can swing the club into the backswing. Now, to now try and propel the ball, there isn't any other movement other than what you did in the backswing. So I'm only gonna put back what I took out in the backswing. So a very, very simple way of looking at this is the back of my lead hand, left hand for me, is generally pointing parallel to the club face. Full back swing, the back of my left hand is now pointing away from me. Back to the ball, through, and now the back of the left hand will now be pointing behind me. So that is how that function would work if I was only able to use my left hand hand, left wrist and left forearm to try to make some form of, of golf swing. So once again, there, there, there. There's rotation in the forearm, that's correct. So that is the function of my lead hand. Trail hand, wrist, arm, same again. Palm of my right hand pointing away from me. It's generally parallel to the club face as to where I'm pointing. So just the wrist, forearm will rotate slightly, comes back and then here is where there's a slight, shall we say, misunderstanding. It isn't this one. It isn't a swipe at the ball where we're turning the club in. Here, here, and then there will be a moment of straight through, and then it rotates to marry up with where my lead hand was a moment ago. So the only difference here is that it's not this one, like so. Prepare the wrists, set them in the back swing. We come back. There's a little bit of straight through now. And then it rotates through to this position. So there's a moment during impact where the feeling is that the club face has been kept a little bit squarer or straighter as we're going through the ball. It isn't a twist, which is what I see a lot of people trying to say. It looks like that because it looks like all I've done is gone from here and twist it round. And as you can see, if I did that, the club hasn't got any downward motion. So there has to be, as we unwind it, almost this effect here, through, and then it rotates. So there's a, a, a little tiny moment there where there's almost a tiny flap as we go into the ball. It's not just that movement. We don't want this movement. You probably top it with that movement or at best probably hook it or snap hook it. So yes, it has to unwind, but then here is when we have a little bit of this motion. So there's a little bit of that sort of what I would call a, a little flap through the hit. 
If you watch pretty much all the top golfers, they all have an element of that piece down at the impact position or the impact zone. So two hands now. Again, no golf swing. Set. Bring it back. Through. And then it rotates into the follow through. So this is a very, very key piece that I think people misinterpret. I've been there myself many, many times when I've been practicing. It can be such a, a confusing game. We end up with paralysis through analysis. So remember, we have the set here. We have the set on the opposite side here. But during impact, there's a moment, if I do it here, there's a moment where the club is there. And then it rotates through. Now that's really, really hard to teach because that's a, oh, I don't know, it's a probably a millisecond of that sort of six inches through the ball and the turf if we're using an iron and taking a divot but there is this element of this now when you look at a lot of still pictures we certainly from this angle and if I had a bit of swing on now it looks here like I've rotated through but I actually haven't I've done this turn and now it looks like I've done this motion. And that isn't correct. It's, it's an optical illusion when you look from here. Again, if I do this action look, so that I'll ex exaggerate this flapping action through the ball. So I've slightly overdone it there so you can see it. And then I turn and it actually looks like quite a nice position and then we'd go into our follow through. So I suppose what I'm trying to get across to you is try to remember that we're trying to keep that, that divot, if you like, square for a moment. And you, you're not going to do that by twisting. The twisting is a natural occurrence when we add on the rotation of our body with our shoulders and our feet. But the hand action itself, really basic, is here, here, there, and then through. That's the, the function of the hands and wrists in a nutshell. Now, when we swing further, this is when, again, it can, can be quite, we can be quite easily misled. So I have this, and you saw Nick Faldo practice this a lot with Ledbetter many years ago. And then we go up, but then it's not this action. We're trying to flap through the ball so it's this through the ball it's not this one this is why a lot of golfers come over the top in their down swings it's because it's premeditated that this is the type of action they should be getting they've got to roll their wrists which you know that's fine if you're practicing that to try and hook one round round a tree or whatever obstacle it might be that's fine if you want to learn that we want a little bit less flapping in that case because we want to try and get the club turning in a little bit earlier however the easiest thing to do if you want to man manipulate the ball is to either close the club face at your address position, then grip the club or open the club face, then grip the club and try to make the same swing because it's hard enough learning one swing rather than trying to learn five or six swings. So that would be my recommendation if you want, want to manipulate the ball. So we now go into our back swing. So we make good setup as ever, good grip. Now we're adding shoulders on. Haven't done anything with my wrists yet. Not like I did in the 
earlier example. So there's the wrists here. I prefer no wrist at this point to be fair but if you are a little bit more wristy that's fine. If it works that's fine. So no wrist but to get the club to here now I've had to use some of my bigger muscles. Now I'll do a slightly smaller swing but I'm now going to add on what I was just showing you a moment ago which is now this position which was that. Now as the body unwinds you'll then feel that moment when you want to release the club. The release of the club, if it was just based on that, when do I now release? Well, you release straight away because there's no other movement with the body. So people would say, well, that's casting. Well, no, that's not casting. You're just putting, you go here. What, how, how do you not deliver the club you have to deliver the club back but that with this added on provides more power obviously there's only so far you'll hit the ball with that little movement but as soon as we then add on the big muscles we can then hit the ball with more power so that effectively with the little flap, it's only about six inches. It's a little flap through and then it'll naturally come through into our follow through. My lead arm now, because we've had, if I exaggerate it, because we've had this action like so, this is exaggerated, but because I've had this, it forces my lead arm to naturally want to bend. If I twist it, this arm wants to stay straighter and then I can't get my trail hand on the club. So something's not going to work there. So we have a little flapping action, which then makes this arm, my left arm or the lead arm, naturally fold which accommodates the straightening of the trail arm through the ball. But if it's twisting, it's not going to work. So your setting here, I'm sure most of you can get somewhere near here and somewhere near this position as you've gone through. But the most important bit is that six inches down here flap and through flap and through so we have this almost this feeling a little bit more underarm as we're trying to hit the ball we don't go this way to the ball so let's have a little look at the right arm trail arm going back now this naturally for most of us wants to have some form of bend Yes, I could push both arms straight, but it naturally wants to bend. Certainly if I'm getting some wrist cocking there in the back swing. And then that's the same on that side. So we have this action around, if you like, the hula hoop here. Back and we're squared up here, here, little flap and through. It's really hard to think, there's not a lot of time for you or for me to think, oh, I just got to add that little flap on that Ian was talking about. That's not going to work. You've got to get the, the, the picture in your mind of, okay, I'm going to try and make a decent swing, but I'm going to focus on that, that little bit of straightness through the ball rather than trying to hold on to the club or twist the club. Little flap. I'm flapping, it looks like I'm rolling my wrists, but I'm not rolling my wrists. I'm just flapping. We don't flap it here because we've got more of the circular motion back and through. But let me just do one here. And what I'll do is I'll hold my finish, just do a little swing, just gonna flap it. Now you can see it's gone pretty straight. Bring it back to you 
and you can see it's quite different it looks like I've rolled my wrists on the video there I did not roll my wrists at all it was just a flap and I've allowed the rotation to sort of take care of itself one more little bit softer this time just a small chip shot with just a little flap quite pleased with that I'll hold this position for you hopefully you can see the video and it looks like I've rolled my wrists through but I haven't rolled them at all look I've, I've had a little it's not a flick or a scoop you're just adding this to the hit but remember you need a good grip you know reasonably decent swing allow the club to swing but add in this little straight line at impact so we have this motion we have this motion here backswing left handers trail arm backswing here we have this but then the flap is what squares it up it's not a twist into the ball we don't go like that we're here here and then there's a flap that'll be the left hander going through and the right hander going through go and try it with some small shots just see if you can do it first like I've just done on those couple of shots there and just you'll be quite surprised well I'm not rolling my wrists but if someone was videoing you from from this angle here like, oh you are rolling no 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 I'm not rolling my wrists it's an optical illusion we only roll the wrists when we want to hook one leave me a comment let me know what you think like subscribe share and all of that stuff and until next time thanks very much for watching